welcome back friends until now in this tutorial series we have seen how to use different type of elements such as the iron input element and the iron ejax element so i'll now expand on this weather app and show you how to weave or just combine the iron input element along with the iron ejax element and then get a combined output so i'll first explain what the case that we are trying to achieve is and then we'll go on to do it so so we'll say that believing that a user wants the data for from this weather app for a different city like maybe he's just going outside and he wants the city to be maybe california or something like or manchester or new york or some anything different from this default city that we have put out here or maybe just he wants the weather forecast for a different number of days maybe he just wants it for two days to save his data bandwidth or maybe just he wants to the forecast to be of kind of 10 days or 20 days because he is going out on a trip because weather is some can be some serious business for people like trekkers and all so so what what would we have to do to add this functionality to our weather app that we have made till now so what we'll have to do actually is that we'll have to combine iron input and iron ajax together and i have already shown how to use iron input and iron ajax individually in case you haven't seen any of those please go back to the earlier tutorials i'll just put a link in the description down below and first watch them and after you have watched them you will basically get an understanding of what i am i am talking about in a better way so coming along uh, okay so in the next tutorial onward we'll what uh, we'll do something like we'll have a city city input field and where we can add uh, um, where we can uh, input the name of the city of the weather forecast we want and then we'll have a slider because i think a slider would be a better thing for the uh, for the days of which the weather forecast we want and then we'll go ahead and try to implement even better things with with this web app such as fetching images from the from the flickr api or the google search api of the different weather conditions and showing it alongside with this of the of with this card because as of now we see that that this card actually shows the data quite accurately but it is it is can, uh, not very re relevant or it will always uh, obviously be much better if you can show the photo of a weather uh, weather condition alongside with the card itself so in the future tutorials i will show you how to implement that and next we'll go on to implement caching so definitely stay tuned for the future tutorials guys and subscribe to the channel and meet you to meet you in the next tutorial and bye